Good evening and thank you for listening in. I've even put on my Christmas jumper tonight and this is not just any Christmas jumper. Each day during Advent we're reading verses from the Gospels together. We're encouraged to have our eyes and ears open on the significance of Jesus born for us. We are reading tonight from John's Gospel, chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This was with God in the beginning. This is how the book begins, and John's Gospel has inspired many books. John's book on Jesus begins by recalling the book of Genesis. But whereas Genesis began with the words, in the beginning, God. Here in John, in the beginning was the word. When God created, or as God created, there was the word. God spoke and things happened. That always bears thinking about. But then also, as well as the word from God, there is the word of God. Just as we read what has come out of the mouth of the Lord, God said this, God said that we also have something when we listen to testimony. There are witnesses to God's being who have something to say to us, and above all, the person whose name was Jesus. Even before the name of Jesus is spelt out, it is waiting to be revealed. The book begins, then on a philosophical note, but we are meant to read on, for this, and this is in every sense just the beginning. We are meant to encounter Jesus. Tonight's thought is this. Advent offers time to anticipate the coming of the Saviour, to anticipate and to think about the one whom we do not yet see. This time will come when we shall see him face to face. John borrowed in philosophy to help him think things through, and there are other ways of doing it too. However, Getting it down to earth is ultimately the point. He, Jesus, did come in every sense down to earth. Let's pray. At the heart of Jesus' teaching was a commandment, to love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and mind. In Jesus' life, we see how that works. So may we open our hearts to you, Lord Jesus, and yield our lives to you and fix our minds on those truths by which you set us free. Amen. And may I take this opportunity to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I also apologise for the dogs snoring in the background. <laughs>